Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Mr. Dallas, and in today's uh, video I'm going to go over the area of regular polygons. This is part two. This is exclusively over uh, the area of regular triangles. Uh, the first video was over just the introduction and went over the equation of regular polygons. This one is only going to talk about regular triangles. So I've got an example of a regular triangle right here. Uh, so all the sides here uh, will be congruent to each other. They are. I mean, that's the definition of a regular triangle. All sides are congruent. And all these interior angles are also going to be congruent to each other. Um, but I'm going to get rid of that here. So you should already know that. Uh, mainly here, I want you to understand that the apothem of a regular polygon goes from the center of the polygon and makes a, a 90 degree angle with a side of the polygon. So in this case, it's making 90 degree angle with this side down here. Also, a radius goes from the center of the polygon and touches one of the vertices. So in this case here, the apothem is going down, makes a 90 degree angle, and uh, the radius is going to the right. Um, so we're focusing, and if you look right in here, the apothem and radius uh, combine to make a right triangle. Uh, that is going to be very useful for finding the area of regular triangles. So um, I've got something on the right here called central angles. Uh, notice I've got uh, three different radii here. So I've got the radii going to the right, radii going to the left, radii going from the center to the top here. Um, I want to find the central angle of this regular triangle. The central angle is if you connect two of the, uh, the angle between two of the radii here. So the central angle I'm looking for uh, is going to be the angle between two, these two radii right here. So the equation is 360 divided by n, where n is the number of sides. So, so 360 degrees divided by three sides equals a central angle of 120 degrees. So this angle is 120 degrees. This is going to be important in today's lesson. In fact, all of these angles here are 120 degrees. But specifically for this problem right here, if I were to draw the apothem now on this problem here, you see that I'm going to, not only does the apothem bisect uh, the side, it also is going to bisect the angle here. So the 120 degree angle is being chopped in half and so we get a 60 degree angle here, 60 degree angle here so this triangle right here is the same as this triangle right here uh, and so we have a 90 degree angle from the apothem we have a 60 degree angle created from bisecting the central angle and so by default this has to be a 30 degree angle because angles in a triangle have to equal 180 degrees so this is a special right triangle I'm going to have to use this special right triangle to help me solve these problems. And my students often have a hard time remembering which of these angles is the 30 and which of these is the 60. Remember, the smaller angle is always going to be opposite the smaller side. So if you can't remember which is 60 and 30, look for the smaller side. Well, the apothem is the small side here. So opposite the small side is the small angle, so this would be 30. So this is 30. You already know this is 90. This has to be a 60 degree angle. So let's do some problems here. Again, remember, 30, 60, 90, we need to know this relationship here. So I've got an example problem. It says find the radius, apothem, and area of the regular triangle, given it has a perimeter of 30 inches. So if I were to measure all the way around here, this is going to be 30 inches. Uh, don't measure your screen. Don't pull it out. I just made up this number here. But how can I use the information that the perimeter is 30 inches to give me information to help me find the radius, apothem, and area? Well, this is a regular triangle, so we know, again, all the sides are congruent to each other. If all the sides are congruent to each other, I can take the perimeter, divide it by the number of sides, and that will give us the side length. So each side here is 10 inches. That's useful. I need to know this information. I can't do anything unless I know some information about this triangle. I'm now going to draw on the apothem. So from the center of the, of the triangle, straight down, that's the apothem. I'm also going to label the radius. And again, I also know that this is a 90 degree angle here. So I just told you that this guy right here is a, a 30, 60, 90 triangle. I'm going to redraw this triangle, making them a little bit bigger. I highly recommend doing this if you are, are doing these problems here or if you have problems you need to do for homework. So we know right now from the previous slide that the top one here is a 60. This guy here is a 30 degree angle, and this is a 90 degree angle here. Now, if you know anything about special right triangles, the side opposite the 30 is labeled x, the side opposite the 60 is labeled x square root 3, and the side opposite the 90, we're going to call this guy 2x. 
So let's see here. What do I know here? Well, I know right now that the apothem is going to be x. I know the radius is going to be equal to 2x. Let me change this guy to green. The radius is going to be equal to 2x. And that's about it. Huh. Remember that uh, an apothem will actually bisect the side it's touching. So bisecting 10, well, if I chop 10 in half, this segment here is 5, this segment here is 5. So this is the same triangle here. So this side here equals 5. So this is 5. Well, I have, I have information now that will help me solve for x. The equation x squared root 3 equals 5. What do I need to do here to isolate the x to solve for x? Well, I can divide by the square root of 3. And when I do that, I isolate the x. If I take my calculator here and I do 5 divided by the square root of 3, I get 2.88. I'm going to round 2.88 to 2.9. So x is 2.9. Well, how does that help me? Well, x is the apothem. So I now know that the apothem is actually 2.9. So I'm going to write down 2.9. This is in inches, so I'm going to put inches here. So now that I know that the uh, x is 2.9, the radius is going to be 2 times x. The radius is going to be 2 times 9. I'm oh, sorry, uh, 2 times 2.9. Well, that's the radius. Well, 2 times 2.9 is now going to be 5.8. So I took x here, and I plugged it into this x right here, and I get a radius of 5.8. Again, this is in inches. So 5.8 inches. Um, how can I use that to find the area? Well, remember, the area equation, I have it right up here, is 1 half apothem times perimeter. Well, right now, the area is 1 half apothem times perimeter, I found the apothem. I will start it off with a perimeter of 30. So the area is 1 half. The apothem I have is 2.9 inches. The perimeter is 30 inches. And if I were to plug this into my calculator here, which I'm going to do, so 0 0.5 times 2.9 times 30 gives me an area of 43.5. This is inches times inches. This is inches squared. So the area is 43. 0.5 inches squared. So this is how you can solve for every single uh, regular triangle. Every single regular triangle is going to have a 30, 60, 90 triangle right in here. So in this case here, um, x is the apothem and 2x was the radius. Do one more problem and I'm going to call it quits in this video. Uh, it says find the apothem perimeter and area of the regular triangle given it has a radius of 12 centimeters. So right here, I gave you the radius, whereas in the last problem, I gave you the perimeter. So I already have the apothem written down in the radius here to make things a little bit easier for us. Um, so again, I know this is the apothem. Find the apothem perimeter and area, so we have the radius of 12. Again, we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle here. So I'm going to use that information to help me on this problem. So we have 60. And 30. And if you have a hard time remembering 60 and 30, remember the small side is always opposite the smallest angle. So this is the smallest side, so 30 would be the smallest angle here. So that's a real quick way to remember that. Again, I'm a big fan of redrawing the triangle to make it a little bit bigger so we can do math and make it a little bit easier to do. So right now, we know this is the 90, 60, 30. Opposite the 30 is x. Opposite the 60 is x squared root 3. Opposite the 90, I'm going to call 2x. And what do we know right now? Well, I know right now the radius here is 12. And I know the apothem in this case is x. Let me change that to red. I've got a little theme going on here. The colors are going to match. Um, so what can I use here? Well, I know right here that 2x is equal to 12. So if I want to solve for x and isolate the x, I divide both of these by 2. And I get x is 6. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Once I know what x is, I'm going to use that to find the apothem. So I know right now that the apothem is actually equal to 6. That's useful. I needed to know that. Once I know what the apothem is and I know what x is, that will help me find everything else here. I'm going to go to blue here. So again, I know that, I know that uh, x is 6 here. So this is now going to become 6 square root 3. So this section of the equilateral triangle or the regular triangle is 6 square root 3. I don't like dealing with radicals unless I absolutely have to. I'm going to plug 6 square root 3 into my calculator. 
and I got 10.39, I'm going to round this guy equal to 10.4. So this section right here is 10.4, which means this is also 10.4. So going all the way across here, if I were to add 10.4 plus 10.4, this side length is 20.8. If this is 20.8, this side is 20.8. Again, remember, all sides are congruent to each other, so I can now find the perimeter. The perimeter is going to be 3 times 20.8. So every side is 20.8, so 3 sides. So that's going to give me a perimeter of 20.8 times 3, plugging in my calculator, I get 62.4. So the perimeter here is 62.4. And I forgot to put units here. This is in centimeters. So apothem is 6 centimeters, perimeter is 62.4 centimeters. And I need to find the area here. So let's change colors to make it a little bit more beautiful, kind of being silly. Uh, area is 1 half, apothem times perimeter. Well, we know the apothem right now is 6. A little ugly. So let me try that again. The apothem here is 6. We know the perimeter here, 62.4. So if I were to type in my calculator, 0. 0.5 times 6 times 62.4, I get a area of 187.2. This is centimeters times centimeters. This is centimeters squared. So this is 187.2 centimeters squared. Anyways, I hope this helps you understand how to do uh, regular triangle problems and uh, hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.